Hello! Hi! Alright, hey, it's Scott Coley back here with Gigi from theabsexpert.com. What we're going to do here is not really abs. I mean, you're working your abs on all of our movements for stability, but this is more designed for glutes. And we could always use that. Yeah. Your butt, whatever you want to call it. Back in this area, where we're going to do Tabata style, so you all are familiar. Hopefully, I've been talking about Tabata intervals a lot. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Uh, this is usually four minutes, but I think we've got an extra 20 seconds in here, so it's going to be about four and a half minutes. We're going to do one legged step ups and then feet elevated hip raises. So we've got to find the step. So, GD will come back here. And we're going to go right leg first. 20 seconds, as many reps as you can begin. So what she's doing is as many reps as she can in 20 seconds. Keeping her foot that's working, the leg that's working, always on the bench. I'm gonna straighten that leg all the way to the top here. Good, crank out a few more reps, you got five seconds. After the 20 seconds, you get 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead and rest, Gigi. Good. This is also good for uh, cardio movement as well. You get your heart rate up. You're working your big muscles. Left leg again. Nice job. Looks like you've done this before. I try. Gigi's throwing an extra, you know, kind of kick in with the other leg. The knee raise. Works the abs. Nice. Yeah. A little crunch there. Good. Relax. Now we're going to go on to lay on your back. Feet on the uh, bench. Hands by your side, uh, come in a little bit. Hands by your side, and begin. Hip raises, what she's doing here, her heels are on the step or the bench. She's lifting up her hips as high as she can, squeezing her glutes at the top. Coming down, but not all the way, not touching the ground, okay? Really working the back of her thighs and her uh, glutes here. And rest. Good, she gets touched, did you feel it? Yes, okay. I did. So those of you who, uh, Ask for workouts like this to fit your skinny jeans or whatnot. Uh, go ahead, right leg and step up. Oh, sorry, the wind is yeah. off balance. Just know that these movements are not going to make your butt smaller or your hips smaller. You got to combine a proper diet with weight training and high intensity cardio here. But the tip can make this area um, stronger here and look more defined once you lose the uh, fat. And relax. I think we went too long with that. And again. Sorry, she didn't uh, get my second breath. Will you forgive me? Yes, can, I will. Like this one. You can put me through a workout later. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. We got three seconds there. Good. Relax. We're gonna go down to the ground. Feet elevated. Hip raise. Uh, if you want to make this a little more challenging, you can go ahead and change it again. If you have a, one of those big inflatable stability balls and your heels are on that, a little bit more challenging because there's some instability there. So you're going to work a little bit more. You could also, we're not going to do it today, but you could do one-legged hip raises. So you could do one leg at a time and really feel it. You've got two seconds, one, and relax. We're three minutes into the workout. We're going to do one more set, one more round of each of these. Starting with our step up, right leg begin. And you might not realize it, but her abs are working as well for stability here. That's it. Finish for four more seconds. Ten second rest usually goes by pretty quickly. That's for sure. Uh, especially <laughs> if I don't give you the actual ten seconds. Yeah. Time. And begin. Last round on the left leg. Looking good here. How's it feeling? Feeling pretty good actually. Feeling your leg? Yeah. All right, getting up. Good. And rest. One more round. Really squeeze your glutes at the top of each one. You really want to emphasize the muscles that you're working. And again. This 
one not so intensive on the heart rate, so it's a little more relaxing for her, um, but it is more intense on your glutes here. And again, if you're proficient at this one, do one leg at a time. And time. All done. So, even though here uh, in the U.S. we're almost done with beach season, we want to get a head start on next you know, you may as well go on vacation during Christmas time. Yeah, so you'll, you'll need to wear a bikini, maybe if you go to the tropical islands. Good point. So yeah. try that workout.